Leading the discussion today is our fabulous Sabina Batia. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected most people globally, but working women and mothers have been especially hard hit with jobs and incomes lost, according to an opening session at the IMF. Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva says it's clear that while many economies make significant progress when women are allowed to fully participate in the workforce, that progress has been reversed recently. It is clear that the pandemic has robbed mothers of their hard-won financial progress. And sadly, this is affecting women everywhere in all regions. Uh, one IMF study focuses on sub-Saharan Africa. It demonstrates that when women lose income, this also spills over onto their children, harming future generations. The IMF says 54 million women dropped out of the workforce globally during the pandemic. In the US, that's especially true of those in lower income jobs in industries that weren't so-called pandemic proof. Reshma Saljani is the founder of a non-profit organization that promotes and supports women and girls learning code, aiming to help make sure females are better represented in the tech sector. The women have gotten crushed in the pandemic, not just here in the United States, but globally. And the reason why women were literally pushed out of the labor force is one, many women, especially low-income women, found themselves in jobs that weren't pandemic proof, like retail, healthcare, and education. Uh, and when the pandemic hit, they lost their jobs. The second thing is that many women, because the, our care structure is broken mm -hmm. uh, and because schools were shut down, many women had to supplement essentially their paid labor for unpaid labor. So Jani is calling for a plan that puts women at the forefront of all economic recovery from the global pandemic, with consideration on better sick leave and affordable childcare. The IMF session is calling for a better, fairer and more equitable workplace for women, especially post-pandemic. But all the while, the head of the IMF is under scrutiny for alleged data tampering while at the World Bank, which is threatening to hurt the reputations of both international institutions. An independent report found that Georgieva pressured staff to change information on the World Bank's Doing Business Index of 2018 to be more favourable to China. She's denied the allegations but her position at the head of the IMF is tenuous, as the executive board considers whether she'll lose her role, even while she takes centre stage as the IMF's annual meetings continue. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Washington.